If you want to set up Waves Harmony as a MIDI instrument in Logic so that it controls the audio on an audio track, but so that it can itself be controlled by a MIDI controller like a keyboard, then this is the setup you're after. At the moment in my project I've got two tracks. I've got an audio track that I've called Vocal because I'm about to sing on that, and then I happen to have a MIDI instrument running here that's a piano. Now this is not integral to the setup at all. I have to stress this. This is a red herring. This a piano is just there to help me na, 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 to pitch my notes. That's really all it's there for. And now it's done its job, I can mute it. But let me record. Here's the thing, it's a thing that I'm singing. Okay, that's beautiful. And I'm just going to, uh, there we go, normalize that. No one's here for my singing. Uh, and let me just cycle that like that and you should be able to hear here's the thing it's a thing that i'm singing and you may know that you can add waves harmony directly onto an audio track here's the thing it's a thing that i'm singing here's the thing okay and you can add in all sorts of ways, with all sorts of presets, uh, instant harmonies here. And that might be exactly what you're after, depending on your approach and your way of working, the kind of music you're after, and so on. And if you want harmony to do the heavy lifting, as far as the theory is concerned, this might be ideal. For me, it's not. I want something a little bit more hands-on, so I'm going to get rid of that. What I'm going to do instead now is to create a MIDI instrument on its own channel or its own track i should say and again it's top of the list because it's the last one i looked for but normally you'll find it down here au midi controlled effects waves waves harmony and there it is and a couple of things to notice straight away now that it's a separate midi instrument i've got the side chain option i didn't have that before so that's it that's my vocal and before i forget let me just name this because otherwise I'll get confused. The second thing to say is that in common with lots of DAWs and their plugins this defaults to C major. So if I play black notes on the keyboard they're going to default to C major. If I play a G sharp it's going to be just be a G or something. So let me set that to chromatic and now I've got the most kind of manual version of this I can. And if I press my piano keyboard, you'll have to take my word for it, I'm now pressing an F and an A and a C and there they are. Let's hear it without anything happening. Here's a thing, it's a thing that I'm singing. And you can probably hear there's a kind of a thickening, a slight chorusy thing, because what I've got is this U, which I don't know what this means, that just means the original sound. I should probably read the manual. Maybe that's the user, I don't know. Anyway, U is our original sound. Maybe it's the uh sound, I don't know. That would be Here's a thing, it's a thing that I'm singing. That would be sophisticated. I can reduce the volume of that by pulling it down towards the centre here, and you can see that that is moving there. Or, of course, I could just turn it off. Here's a thing... And now I don't hear anything. That's fine. I might want that, as I say, if I wanted to do a, a kind of a slight thickening, that might be a useful and uh, quick, cheap solution for that, but I don't want that. And what I do want, though, is to add some sounds here. Here's a thing, it's a thing that I'm singing. Okay, that's the kind of thing I'm after. I'm playing like an A minor, and then I'm adding an F sharp to it. So... Here's a thing, it's a thing that I'm singing. And I can actually just record that, so let me do that. I'm going to disable that, and I'm going to make sure that is enabled. Here's a thing, it's a thing that I'm singing. Okay, let me just close that down there. And right away, I can... That needs to be zoomed in. Not that much. Here's a thing, it's a thing that I'm singing. Now I can add, uh, depending on what I want, I could add. Here's a thing. And I think I might like some G 
going down to an F sharp. Or maybe I want that to go down to a D afterwards. Maybe I want to do that. Yes. Okay, something like that. Here's a thing, it's a thing that I'm singing. Yeah, okay, so just to say that I'm now more or less in control, um, not of my magnification necessarily, but of the notes that I'm using here. And, you know, there's no end um, to the options here. Here's a thing, it's a thing that I'm singing. And so on and so on. So whether you're sketching out backing vocals or whether this is something that you want to use in a final mix, that's how you set this up uh, so that you can control your audio from a MIDI instrument version of the Waves Harmony plugin.